Hey you, we all talk about peace these days. Creating and keeping it has always been a part of human history, as well as war of course. Through times there are many examples of brave people that have devoted their life to achieve peace. Some even sacrificed it. In ancient times, marriage was a way of building bridges between kingdoms and enemies. From simple people, big families, up to royalties, everyone had to contribute. As time passed by, new nations were built and interactions between them got more complicated. Marriage was not enough anymore. People really had to get into action. Of course, that also meant to take more risks. One example is Iqbal Masih, a Pakistani boy who was enslaved for family debts at the age of four. Six years later, and after one failed attempt, he managed to escape. He got involved with the NGO fighting bonded labor, received education and helped over 3,000 children to escape bondage. He traveled the globe speaking out against the issue and raising awareness. Masi was assassinated when he was 12 and roughly 800 people attended his funeral. However, his legacy lives on well beyond his death and in 2009 Congress started an annual award in his name given to activists fighting to end child labor. Nadia was 19 living with her family in a village in Iraq when her life changed forever. ISIS attacked her community, killing 600 people, including members of her family. She, along with 6,700 Yazidi women, were taken prisoners, tortured and raped repeatedly. She managed to escape, fled from the territories occupied by ISIS and joined the refugee program of Germany. Despite the struggle, Nadia overcame the obstacles believed in her ability to make a change by raising awareness for victims of human trafficking, genocide and rape and addressed the issues to the UN Security Council. She even wrote an autobiography and met with important figures while touring in favor of alerting the public opinion. She is now a Nobel Prize winner along with other awards she got, thanks to her activism and will to make a change. These are examples which can be an inspiration to all of us. We all need peace in the world we live in, in our bodies and our thoughts. The idea of being stronger when being together brought 500 people to Berlin in 2018, brought us one year later to Paris and we met again virtually in 2020. We are proud to contribute to building peace, we believe in our role in peacemaking and we hope that the youth from around the world will join us in our journey, because even with small actions we can have a huge impact. What means peace to you? What can you do? Enough of our inspiration. Now it's your turn to make the world more peaceful.